Assalamu alaikum sir. Uh, my name is Muhammad Firas sir. Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, it's a non-Muslim question. Actually, uh, he is Nastik. He won't believe any religion. So, he asked me the question, uh, who created the God? God created us and who created God? So, how should I answer him? I brother asked the question that a non-Muslim atheist asked him the question, who created God? The answer is that it is like my friend whose name is John. His brother Jack was admitted to the hospital, he tells me. Brother John tells me that my brother Jack was admitted to the hospital. He gave birth to a child. Was the child a girl or a boy? Girl or a boy? Can you guess? Maybe I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> girl or a boy? How can a man give birth to a child? Jack is a brother of brother John. Admit to the hospital. Give birth to a child, girl or a boy. The question is illogical. A man cannot give birth to a child. Similarly, the definition of true God, Allah, is, is uncreated. But the question who created God is illogical. The moment I say so and so person created God, he is not God. There is nothing like him. So the definition of God is he is uncreated. But the question who created God is illogical. The moment I say who created God, that thing cannot be God. God by definition is uncreated. He creates everything else like us. We are dependent on him. He is independent on anything. How to convince an atheist? is, you can refer to my video cassette, is the Quran God's word, which gives this answer, as well as how to convince an atheist about Islam, is the Quran God's word, we'll deal in detail, how to convince an atheist.